My child, most of what you hear about unexpected money is a lie. Your debts will be erased and your bills will be taken care of in full. You'll receive exorbitant amount of money, but there is a condition underlying it which you don't know. You do it. You receive unexpected amount. You do it again. You get richer and this continues. Today, I am reaching out to share incredible news that is bound to lift your spirits and infuse your life with positivity. Have you ever felt like your dreams are bigger than you are? Like wanting to travel to exotic places or become a millionaire or write a best-selling book? Dreams so grand, so distant, they seem like stars glittering and unreachable in the night. And what of the small dreams? The everyday ones? Like going back to school, falling in love, or landing a better paying job. Those things aren't unreachable people, do it all the time, and yet, it still seems so difficult. Sure, you know it's possible theoretically, but with everything you're dealing with, you can't for the life of you see how it's possible for you to do it. At least not right now. Money, time, current responsibilities, past commitments, there are a gazillion obstacles standing in your way. The idea of dealing with all those things, of overcoming them, of finally getting into a position where you can do what you've always dreamed about it seems nearly impossible. Not as distant as the stars, perhaps, but it would certainly be like walking on the moon. The good news? I can say overcoming all those obstacles will be easy and certainly possible. I am resourcing you. Though resources have been scarce and supply has been thin, I am changing all of that. I will resource you from my glory even as I said in my word that I would supply all your need according to my riches and glory. There is no scarcity of glory, says the Father, therefore there is, and there will be no scarcity of supply. Money is no problem. Favor that you need is no problem. Get ready to shake loose into your life, even today, the low-hanging fruit of my goodness that is within reach even now. Reach out by faith, says the Father. Extend your faith even in the midst of your need. What you make happen for others, I will make happen for you. Refuse the lie that says, I have done all that there is nothing more to do. That is the lie of the enemy that causes stagnation to enter in in frustration to rule your life. I have not called you to frustration. I have called you to new purpose. I have called you to a new purpose funded by new funding. I am pro-vision, therefore I am funding the vision. As you fund the needs of others, I will bring you into surplus. Act now says the Father. Step out now. What you do now is much more powerful and effectual to change things than what you are waiting on me to do or say further. Remember the words of the prophet Elijah to the starving widow. Make me a little cake first. She thought she was about to eat and die, but she heard the word. She gave into the anointing that rested on the mantle of that man. The result was spectacular. The result was phenomenal. Hebrew widows starved, but this Gentile woman was fed out of the economy of heaven. Know this today, says the Father, that I open a great door, and an effectual door to bring you out of the economy, man, and into the economy of the kingdom. So, spend your faith spent it lavishly upon my purposes and upon the needy. 
as you follow me and allow me to spend you so I will fund you and resource you and cause you to enter the central currents of my purposes in this day and hour, says the Father. Now, this raises an important question, what will you do with this revelation? Your guardian angels have gone out of their way to share this celestial message with you. Could it be a sign that you're stepping into a new, even more impactful chapter of your own journey? And if so, are you ready for it? You've already accomplished so much just by being you, but this could be the universe's way of preparing you for even greater things. If you've listened to this message and felt a resonance know that it's no mere coincidence. The universe doesn't make mistakes. Every step you've taken and every challenge you've faced has led you to become this inspiring figure. Isn't it incredible how life's puzzle pieces fit together to create this amazing picture? Others, too, are poised to be touched by your radiant energy as you continue on your journey. May your guardian angels guide you towards endless opportunities to shine even brighter. Now listen to this prayer as it holds divine blessings and essence. O oh Lord, as I lift my voice to you in prayer, I am awestruck by your majesty and the magnificence of your creation. From the vastness of the cosmos to the intricate beauty of the smallest living beings, your handiwork is evident everywhere I look. I stand in awe of your power and wisdom, and I am humbled by the privilege of being in your presence. Heavenly Father, I am aware of the challenges and adversities that surround us in this world. The enemies of our souls seek to undermine our faith, disrupt our lives, and lead us away from your loving embrace. I implore you, Lord, to shield us from these malevolent forces, to place a hedge of protection around us, and to grant us the strength to stand firm in the face of adversity. Guard our hearts, minds, and spirits against the schemes of the enemy, and let your light dispel all darkness. Father, I long for spiritual progress and growth in my journey with you. As I traverse the path of faith, I yearn for a deeper relationship with you, a greater understanding of your word, and a heart that overflows with love for you and for others. May your Holy Spirit be my constant guide, illuminating the scriptures and revealing the profound truths contained within. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it. Lord, your word tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask you, the generous giver, and it will be given to them. I come before you now, seeking the precious gift of wisdom. In a world filled with noise and confusion, help me to discern your voice amidst the clamor. Grant me the wisdom to make choices that align with your will and that lead me closer to your perfect plan for my life. Heavenly Father, in a world marked by turmoil and unrest, I earnestly seek your peace and serenity. Let your presence be a calming balm to my weary soul and grant me the strength to remain steadfast in my faith. May your peace which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In the midst of life's storms, help me to find solace in your abiding love. Lord, your word assures us that you are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I beseech you for guidance and direction in every aspect of my life. Lead me in the way that is pleasing to you and reveal your divine purpose for my existence. Illuminate the path before me and grant me the courage to follow it, trusting in your unfailing guidance. Father, there are times when life's challenges seem insurmountable and my strength falters. In those moments, I turn to you, the source of all strength and endurance. Fill me with your might and let your grace be sufficient for me. Help me to soar on wings like eagles, to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. May I find renewed strength in you each day. Lord, 
You are the great healer, capable of mending broken hearts, bodies, and spirits. I lift up to you those who are in need of your healing touch. Whether the ailment is physical, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your power to bring about restoration and wholeness. May your healing hand be upon those who suffer, bringing comfort, relief, and renewed vitality. Heavenly Father, I am acutely aware of my imperfections and my need for your forgiveness and grace. I come before you with a contrite heart, confessing my sins and shortcomings. I ask for your mercy to wash over me, cleansing me from all unrighteousness. Grant me the ability to extend forgiveness to others as I have received it from you. Lord, you are the provider of all our needs, and your storehouses are never empty. I place before you my concerns and needs, trusting in your abundant provision. Whether it is material, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your faithfulness to supply all that is required. May your blessings overflow in my life and in the lives of those I love. Father, I yearn for the fruits of the Spirit to flourish within me, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May these attributes be evident in my interactions with others, reflecting your divine nature and drawing people closer to you. Transform my character, Lord, and make me a vessel of your love. Heavenly Father, your word encourages us to live in unity and harmony with one another. I lift up to you our relationships, both within our families and among our friends and communities. May the bonds of love and fellowship be strengthened, and may your peace reign in our hearts. Let our interactions be marked by grace, compassion, and understanding. Lord, your heart aches for the lost and the broken, and so does mine. I lift up to you those who have not yet experienced the transformative power of your love. May your spirit draw them near, open their hearts to your truth, and bring them into your fold. Use me as an instrument of your love, that I may share your gospel and be a beacon of hope to those in need. Father, in a world that often clamors for more, I pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. Help me to recognize and appreciate the countless blessings that surround me each day. May I find joy in the simple pleasures of life and contentment in your presence, knowing that you are the source of true fulfillment. Lord, I join my prayers with those who seek the peace of Jerusalem, a city that holds immense significance in your divine plan. I pray for the safety and well-being of its inhabitants and for the resolution of conflicts that persist in the region. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, extend to the land where your chosen people dwell. Heavenly Father, I recognize the allure of temptation and the frailty of human nature. I beseech you to deliver me from the snares of temptation and to grant me the strength to resist its enticements. Let your word be a lamp to my feet, guiding me.